What's goody warriors? We are in there. You know what it's about, right? Civil War, Secret War, Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, The Avengers. Let's do this thing. I'm so happy right now. This morning I was reading Spider-Man Ultimate, Miles Morales. I got an alert because I was reading, you know, Marvel.com, by the way. And it and got an alert that said there was a new announcement they were making. I read it and it said Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures is getting together to make Spider-Man. Spider-Man is actually going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now I had to double take and then read the whole thing again. You know, it's official. Spider-Man is going to be made with Sony and Marvel. Now it's still going, Sony is still going to finance it if the film costs 200 million to make. Sony are paying for that. They have final creative control. So if Marvel say, um, Marvel say, we want him to have the Iron Man, the um, Iron Spider. You know, because in Civil War, Spider-Man had the Iron Spider outfit. The Iron Spider comes from Civil War. You know, where he has um, a suit that's made of, I think it's made of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, and he has like these um, spider pincers. You know, that was made by Tony Stark. You know, because Spider-Man originally joined Tony Stark in Civil War, you know, because Tony Stark, he wanted, he wanted mutants to, um, superheroes to unveil themselves, he wanted them to basically be with the government, you know, and hunt down mutants that, um, superheroes that wanted to keep themselves secret, their identity secret, and basically be against the, um, Superheroes Registration Act. You know, at, the, at first, it's only in um, Civil War. After this is not a spoiler because I've been in the comics. This is years old, right? And I think there was a lot of things that happened, but I think the main tipping point that made Spider-Man, who was such an important character, was because the whole superhero registration act. You know, Spider-Man was the first protoparticles, the first superhero to come out and unmask himself in the public. You know, he became super famous because he did that. And it became an important part in the bridge between humans, superheroes, mutants, and, you know... And what happened initially was, basically, Ragnarok was created, right? And the incident that led Spider-Man to go from Tony Stark to Captain America was basically because when Ragnarok got activated by basically he was created by Tony Stark Tony Stark Reed Richards they used the cells because Thor died they used the cells from Thor to create Ragnarok who's basically a clone of Thor and then during the war um you know between Captain America and um Iron Man Ragnarok went crazy and he basically killed Goliath you know and that was just the, that just was the thing that kind of made Spider-Man see that who was Iron Man? Who's Tony Stark really? This is basically Tony Stark is like Batman, you know? Yeah, he is the leader of the Avengers. He's a main part of the Avengers. But he's got fact files and the weaknesses of all his associates, friends, enemies and people he works with. So even if you're on his team, he's still got countermeasures to kill you. In, just in case you go rogue or you don't adhere to his beliefs, you know, and that's when Spider-Man fought Captain Mar um, Iron Man. You know, he fought Iron Man. He lost, and that's when he they caught they got him. Punisher, I think it was Punisher, was the one that found Spider-Man and then brought him um, to Captain America, and that was the moment that Spider-Man joined. Captain America. So Spider-Man was on both sides. He was on with Iron Man first, then he was with um, Captain America. He's a very important part of Civil War. So this deal comes just in time for Civil War. Now you know Spider-Man is going to be. They're going to um, because they probably had like a script with Spider-Man, and then a script where they're going to use either Spider-Woman or Black Panther. As a sort of replacement for Spider-Man. You know, the character that became the bridge between the humans trusting superheroes and, you know, the moral boundary between what's right, what's wrong, what's going too far, what's not going too far and everything like that. But I think, so they probably had three scripts, I believe. Or maybe four. 
you know, a version where they split the, um, the roles between um, T'Challa, sorry, Black Panther and Spider-Woman. That's one script. A script where it's just Spider-Woman as the um, filler for Spider-Man. Or Black Panther, that's the filler for Spider-Man and the Spider-Man. They're going to probably use the Spider-Man uh, version of Civil War. I am so happy. Now, if you know anything about Marvel superheroes and how important these characters are, let me tell you something. You remember, do you know how important Spider-Man is? His parents, you know why his parents died? His parents died saving the world. Because they're the ones, they go all the way back to Red Skull, where Red Skull had one of the Infinity Gems. Yes, he did. He had one of the Infinity Gems. And what happened was, Spider-Man's parents stole the Infinity Gem from Red Skull and gave it to S.H.I.E.L.D. That's how S.H.I.E.L.D. had the Infinity Gem. They got it because of Peter Parker's parents. They were spies. They were secret agents. You know, so Spider-Man's legacy originates from Literally Captain America saga with the Red Skull, with his parents being S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. That's how entwined Spider-Man is in the Infinity War, in the Infinity Gauntlet, and to do with the, the DNA of the Marvel superhero universe. It is so incredible that we've got Spider-Man back in the Marvel universe where films... But it does say that after Spider-Man is going to appear in a Spider-Man film... A Marvel film, and then the next film is going to be a Sony film, but it's going to be co-produced by Kevin Feige. You know, he's the man that says yes or no and to Marvel projects, and you know, he's the man basically of Marvel Studios that says yes, no, I don't think so. You know, um, but the creative control is still going to be with Sony. They have the final say on creativity. So if they, if Marvel wants to say we want to put the Iron Spider, which will be incredible if they put Iron Spider in Civil War. If Marvel, if somebody says, we don't want Iron Spider, we want him to be Spider-Man, normal Spider-Man, all the way through, then that goes. Because they have final say on creative. Which is fine. Which is fine. So I'm excited, you know, I've just been reading the information, trying to make sure I've got everything correct, because I didn't believe what I was reading, and I just like, I was like, really? Is this really happening? I can't believe it. You know, and so they're saying, um, they're saying, I think it was July, July 28th, July 20, July 28th, the 17th, 2017, 2017, July 28th, 2017 is when they're going to release in the Spider-Man film. Yeah, I believe so. So... One of the Marvel films is getting pushed back, you know, or the shooting is going to be delayed. You know, this is important because the Infinity War, no, the um, Age of Ultron, that's going to be the one that starts off the whole Civil War movement. Because Civil War, you know, started from the incident where innocent people got killed. Basically, they were doing like a TV show or something like that, and... Innocent bystanders. I think it was a school bus of kids got killed, you know, and that's what led to the uprising against humans not trusting superheroes or mutants anymore. And I believe Age of Ultron, the destruction that's going to happen at the hands of the Avengers and Ultron is what's going to lead to the Superhero Registration Act. So this is what is going to go into Civil War. That's why this is so perfect. Yeah, Spider-Man isn't going to be in Age of Ultron, which is cool. He's going to be in Civil War. And then he's going to have his own film after that. It's going to be incredible. They could put so many characters in there. Finally, finally, we can have some cat. We can get some Daredevil in there. We can get the hand. No, we can't get the hand. Well, you could definitely get Daredevil. You know, because they're doing the Devil, the Daredevil film. You know, we can get all the superheroes in the mix. Finally, instead of all this kind of half-hearted, well done, Sony, for seeing sense. Well done. You know, you got Amy Pascal and Kevin Feige. They're the main people that really wanted this to go through. You know, regardless of what I think of any of those type of people, I mean, at the end of the day, I get invites from Sony for films. And Sony Pascal... Amy Pascal is one of the main people in Sony, so, you know, 
it is what it is. So, whatever I, what I feel or say about certain people, you know, that's beside the points, you know. They hooked me up with tickets for films, so it's all good. So the Marvel, love you guys. So, I'm happy. I'm delighted. Basically, yeah, we've got Spider-Man. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, the people have got Spider-Man. You know, we've got such an important character. He's basically the Prince of Marvel. You know, Iron Man, the most important characters, popularest characters, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America. You know what I mean? They're the top three, like it or not, because they were from the beginning and they were the ones that inspired the generation. So I'm excited. I'm so happy and delighted that finally we're going to get um our Spider-Man film. He's back with Marvel. It's just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. You know, but as I said before, you know, Sony, they're still gonna distribute it, they're still gonna pay for it. If it costs two hundred million, Sony are paying for that. You know, they still have everything to do with the film, you know, to making the film. It's just that um, Marvel is just going to be it's going to be able to have a Marvel film with Marvel characters, Marvel's input, Marvel's rich history of having all the characters and being extremely successful. Though Spider Man is successful in itself, you know, all Spider Man films all together have made four million, four billion, you know, four billion, um, which was said on the, the Marvel.com announcement, said four million, you know. Andrew Garfield, he's done, he's out of here. Even though I like him, I don't think he was. I mean, a lot of people said they don't like him. I liked him as Spider Man, I thought it was cool, I thought it was good. The only thing I think was wrong with Spider Man films was the, the villains. You know, Electro was rubbish. Green Goblin, they didn't do him well. You know, I mean, I never liked Gwen Stacy. I've always hated Gwen Stacy. You know, because she cheated on him. She cheated on Spider Man. You know, I mean, Spider Man's my boy. You know, that's why I don't personally like her because I know her from the comic books. I don't. My first knowledge of Gwen Stacy is not from the film or the video games. It's from the comics where she cheated on him, and I hate that. You know, Spider-Man took her back and this and the other, you know, I mean, okay, maybe, maybe, was Mary Jane a whole bag? Yes, she was, but at least she wasn't with Peter Parker when she was a whole bag. When she was with Peter Parker, she became a good girl for Peter Parker. Gwen Stacy wasn't, she was a hot harlot, you know, so whatever, whatever I think about that. But, that, and that, I mean, Andrew Garfield... He's out of here. They're going to have a new Spider-Man. I just hope they don't do a rush job on casting Spider-Man. You know, because this Spider-Man that they're going to cast for Civil War, that's going to be the Spider-Man that they have to use for the Spider-Man movie, which I hope they do. I hope they just don't do a Ben Affleck and they get, like, basically a studio actor, a person that's good for the studio, you know, to play the role in the film of Spider-Man. You know, I hope they do, like, a proper good casting and they get somebody that's, that's legitimate. Just like the way we've got um, Henry Cavill for Superman. You know, it's only that, you know, they're messing it up with Spy Superman by all these kind of like random characters they're throwing into the mix and random actors just to fill the roles and stuff because it's good for the studio. I hope Marvel don't do that and they f properly cast and screen somebody who's legit, fresh faced, and just ready and hungry to do a good job. Like the person that's doing that Black Panther. You know. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to do a quick video. I know it's gone on for a little bit longer than I expected. I've got to get going now. So I was going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I want to hear your thoughts on everything to do with Spider-Man. With the Marvel Universe. With Sony Pictures. What is your thoughts? And thank you Jay Leslie. You know for giving me the thumbs up. You know, and then letting me know about what's going on and everything like that. So I want to say thank you very much and keep tuned in for my next videos. And we're going to keep on pushing and keep doing more. Okay, Warriors. Take care and live fabulously.